also sub today's video hidden hidden cost um getting a motorcycle. So um multitasking right now doing this vlog so so well multitasking really work. Okay, because I have been thinking of trying to if I would get a motorcycle or a car for transportation since uh these days commute is getting uh, harder for some reason maybe because of the population increase well hidden costs so taxes uh, whatever I'm not sure where taxes uh, maybe like insurance things that I'm sure of like insurance uh, maintenance gas uh, repairs so you need to find a good repair shop that you can trust, a good mechanic that you can trust, that won't scam you. So it's gonna be annoying because it's gonna be, for me the hidden cost is that uh, I will be relying more on people's services so I would need their availability and their services so I don't like relying a lot of people, much on people especially some, some like, uh, some great need like that. It's annoying, you know. I want to have like I want to have like less uh, need of people as much as possible. If you commute, you just ride, you just wait, ride, pay, and get uh, get off. So if, uh, if you have a car, you need a maintenance guy. You need your own you need. You need to find a maintenance shop, uh, stuff like that. So it's gonna be annoying. Uh, it didn't cost uh, like license is expensive. So expensive here in the Philippines. 10 to 12k, I think. Oh, that's a lot of money just for a license. Well, but <laughs> the government uh, extracts some business out of it, I guess. I don't know, I'm not sure if it's the government or whatever who benefit from that. I'm, I'm not sure if, who is that paid to the government or the uh, <laughs> driving school or whatever, but. So expensive, you know. Uh, the advantage is you can just go anywhere, anytime, anywhere. Uh, hidden costs, you need to pay for gear, safety gear, helmets, armor, gloves, uh, knee pads, shoulder pads, elbow pads. That's the only thing that will keep you, that will try to protect you. It's hidden costs, it's dangerous. Uh, I almost. Uh, Lost my legs trying to learn how to ride. Well, I learned how to ride, but you're gonna fall. So, especially when you're practicing, especially with the terrain. So, it was an uphill terrain, so I fell. And I almost couldn't walk. I bled a little bit. And my legs almost get shattered you know, but I'm, I'm thankful I can still do some Taekwondo or Karate and do some jumping and kicks but every now and then I would, I would feel the pain on my knees still have it fully healed dangerous almost everyone I know who has motorcycles like sometimes get like I see them being bloody and bruised and bandages sometimes. It's unavoidable. It's gonna happen. Uh, I've seen like uh, terrible motorcycle accidents in the past couple of years. Like right, like right in my face, people will just like fly and then people like uh, on the floor uh, in pain, dying. Uh, so I think that's already like a sign that we shouldn't get a motorcycle. Um, because also you yeah, you you have a fear of it being stolen. Times are hard. Um, so maintenance, the gas. I have a bike, uh, it's a maintenance, and I 
cost a bit. So it's gonna cost like 10 times more if it's more recycled. So there's gonna be one more thing for me to worry about and just spend money on. When, uh, when owning a house as a millennial is so goddamn expensive. Uh, so. Yes, I think that's it for now. If anything I will I want to add, I will put in the comments. See you guys later.